Hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode of Flight Simulator 2020 Development Update, the latest as of June 25th, uh, 2020. So let's get started guys, let's go straight to the alpha news uh, for this development update. So the Microsoft uh, team is telling us for the next week's uh, post, which will be uh, July 2nd, the team will be giving us a release date for the Alpha version 5 as well as a timeline for the closed beta. So we're definitely getting closer to that beta finally. And uh, we should be expecting the Alpha version 5 early June. Uh, sorry, early July. Uh, if I had to guess, it will be after next week's post update most likely. Um, and as always, uh, the full build notes will be provided when version 5 is released. Uh, the Microsoft team is also sending out new alpha invitations out today uh, as well and most likely some will be sent Friday as sometimes it tends to uh, take a while to send all the invitations. Uh, the team also finally confirms that if you are currently an alpha tester you automatically will be granted access into the closed beta. So some of the alpha testers were concerned if if they were going to be in the closed beta. So that has been confirmed now. You will be in the closed beta if you are currently an alpha tester. Uh, for the alpha news, that's about everything that we have right now from this development update. Uh, we'll go ahead to the uh, partnership series update, which uh, today was with NavBlue, the NavBlue um, company. Uh, will be providing all their data solutions for the uh, this new uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, which is expected to be released this year. I know a lot of people don't think it's coming out 2020, uh, but uh, it seems that they keep confirming it will be this year, most likely the end of this year, if I had to guess. Um, so Microsoft has selected NavBlue to provide their data solutions and they signed a contract with them um, March of this year, so just uh, a few months ago. And the uh, NavBlue company will be providing all the re real world uh, aeronautical data to Microsoft through their Navigation Plus and Charge Plus services. And uh, these services will have the authentic worldwide navigation data, which is currently being used in uh, flight management systems and uh, flight operation uh, ground tools. And it will all be provided in the AR INC 424 format, which is the uh, international standard format for aircraft navigation. And most importantly, uh, the uh, realistic and accurate charts used by pilots all over the world will be provided through the Charge Plus service to, uh, from the NavBlue company. And uh, the, I'll have the uh, whole partnership series update with the NavBlue in the background. And you guys are free to uh, pause it and read all of it. Um, but my biggest question I have for this is basically will it come free with the purchase of the flight simulator or will you have to pay subscription or a separate single payment for it um, I ask this because uh, most of you have heard of Navigraph uh, which provides a similar service for other sims like uh, P3D um, also known as prepared X-Plane and FSX for example and it's a subscription uh, base uh, monthly or annual payments depending on how you want to pay um, so it will be interesting to see what it will end up being as some of you know charts and navigational data is updated every single 28 days just like in the real world uh, you know, as new info is added or edited to change procedures or whatever else has uh, changed in the charts or navigation data. So that's why it leads to me to asking this question. This service, will it be free once you have bought the simulator? Or will you have to make another payment for it? Will it be subscription based as well? Um, you know, there's no information on this at the moment. But hopefully this will be answered soon. They didn't mention anything, so it could be that there is, you know, it just comes 
with the flight simulator. Um, but from my understanding, you know, from being in the aviation world, uh, these kind of services, you know, updating charts and all that kind of, you know, obtaining uh, navig all the uh, latest up and updated navigational data is not cheap. Uh, you can ask any pilot uh, and they will tell you it's not cheap as well or any company, you know, uh, aviation company. So um, that's why it leads me to the question, will this come with a flight simulator? Or will you have to, you know, maybe they'll give you the latest navigational data when the uh, flight simulator is released, but then after that, will you have to pay for the the newest navigational data that's coming out every 28 days approximately? Uh, so it'll be interesting to know what that will be like. Um, so anyways, uh, that's all the information we have, as I said, and uh, I'll have, uh, as I mentioned before, the NAFBLUE uh, series update on the background. You guys are free to pause the video and read all the information provided. And uh, remember guys, next development update is expected next week, July 2nd. Uh, they didn't uh, provide us any more information, but do go to the flightsimulator.com website. There's more alpha tester uh, screenshots so that you guys can go ahead and check that out and that's it for this episode of development updates of the latest news released June 25th please if you enjoyed the video consider subscribing to my channel for the latest topics and news on the Microsoft Flight Simulator and other simulators also let me know in the comments down below what future topics you would like me to cover and once again, thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.